morning to you. I hope you're all well. I've missed you so much. Today I'm going to read you a story and there's going to be some guided reading questions on our website. So make sure you're listening. I'm going to get a cup of tea because you know how much I love one and get comfy. And somebody's here has come to say hi and he also wants to hear the story is Racky which I'm sure you'll all be excited about. So he's going to stay and listen to the story too. So the book I'm going to read today is called The Tunnel by Anthony Brown. Once upon a time there lived a sister and brother who were not at all alike. In every way they were different. The sister stayed inside on her own, reading and dreaming. The brother played outside with his friends, laughing and shouting, throwing and kicking, roughing and tumbling. At night, he slept soundly in his room, but she would lie awake listening to the noises of the night. Sometimes he crept into her room to frighten her, for he knew that she was afraid of the dark. Whenever they were together, they fought and argued noisily, all the time. One morning, their mother grew impatient with them. Oh, just going to pause there for a second. Can somebody tell me what the word impatient means? Maybe you can whisper it to somebody in the room with you. Go and tell your brother or sister or adult in the house. Oh, give yourself a pat on the back. Impatient is when somebody tends to get easily irritated, so gets a bit annoyed or irritated quite quickly. Okay, well done if you got that. Let's carry on. Out you go together, she said, and try to be nice to each other for just for once. And be back in time for lunch. But the boy didn't want his little sister with him. They went to a piece of waste ground. Why did you have to come? He moaned. It's not my fault, she said. I didn't want to come to this awful place. It scares me. Oh, don't be a baby, said her brother. You're frightened of everything. He went off to explore. Hey, come here, he yelled a little while later. She walked over to him. Look, he said. A tunnel, come on, let's see what's at the other end. No, no, you mustn't, she said. There might be witches or goblins or anything down there. Don't be so wet, said her brother. That's kid stuff. We have to be back by lunchtime, she said. His sister was frightened of the tunnel and so she waited for him to come out again. She waited and waited, but he did not come. She was close to tears. What could she do? She had to follow him into the tunnel. The tunnel was dark and damp and slimy and scary. At the other end, she found herself in a quiet wood. There was no sign of her brother, but the wood soon turned into a dark forest. She thought about wolves and giants and witches and wanted to turn back, but she could not, for what would become of her brother if she did? By now she was very frightened and she began to run faster and faster. I'll just show you a picture there. And then this is the next page. Just when she knew she could run no further, she came to a clearing. Oh, there's another word there that some of you might not know the meaning of. So I want you to have a think what the word clearing means and can you whisper it to somebody in the room? Brother or sister, um, an adult, an animal, one of your pets. I could whisper it to Raki, but he's left the room. Okay, so a clearing is an open area of a forest where there's no trees, maybe they've been cut down for some reason. There was a figure, still as stone. It was her brother. Oh no, 
she sobbed. I'm too late. She threw her arms around the cold, hard form and wept. Very slowly, the figure began to change colour, becoming softer and warmer. Then, little by little, it began to move. Her brother was there. Rose, I knew you'd come, he said. They ran, they ran back through the forest, through the wood, into the tunnel and out again together. When they reached home, their mother was setting the table. Hello, she said. You two seem very quiet. Is everything all right? Rose smiled at her brother and Jack smiled back. So that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. On the Lark Hall website, there will be some guided reading questions for you to answer about the book. So I really want you to try and answer as many of them as you can. And tomorrow I will be posting another video that will have to do with this book. But I want you to think about how you would change the ending of the story. So maybe instead of Jack running into a forest, he could be floating in space or maybe he's trapped in a dungeon or something like that. But I want you to have a think and then tomorrow we can share some ideas. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.